Hello there, and welcome to this, the final video for EART 22101 Evolution and Paleobiology. This is the end. The, uh, the course is drawing to a close. I'm, I can tell that because I'm recording this about half three in the afternoon, and it's already dark inside, so we're definitely approaching the end of the year. But before we do so, we're going to finish up by talking about the evolution of life on land. More of that in just a second, but I just wanted to highlight, since this is the, um, the final video for our final session, that if you have any feedback on this course, what you think Rob and I have done well, or indeed what you think we could do better, we would very much welcome, um, welcome that. So if you can um, either email feedback to us, you are very welcome to do so that way, or there's a unit evaluation questionnaire, which I think you'll be sent automatically by Blackboard towards the end of the course. If you have the opportunity, that's another good way to get us feedback to let you know us know what you thought. But before you do that, like I say, we're going to look at the evolution of life on land. So without further ado, what are we looking at today? Well, the videos today are slightly shorter. They've got the same uh, total runtime, but I've split them into smaller chunks. But in general, what we're going to be doing is covering the following topics. First off, we'll be looking at adaptations across different groups that have moved from living in the ocean to living on land towards their new mode of life. So the adaptations that we associate with this process of moving to living on land, the process called terrestrialization. We'll then spend most of the rest of the lecture looking at a timeline of terrestrialization. So a nice chronological story through the different groups of organisms that have moved onto land. We'll start with Precambrian life on land. So before the Cambrian explosion, what organisms there were living on the continental surfaces of the early Earth? Those will make up the video portions of this uh, this uh, week's session, and then the remaining portions of the session will be spent in our or will be covered in our in-person session, and these include the terrestrialization of major eukaryote groups. So we'll look at plants and we'll look at a couple of key animal groups that came onto land. And we'll also look at some major events that have occurred in the evolution of terrestrial ecosystems. So things that postdate the origin of complex ecosystems on land, but nevertheless have very much shaped the world that we see outside around us today. So I hope you'll find it interesting. That just leaves it for me to say thank you very much for your time during this course. I've really appreciated teaching you. I've had a really, really good time and I hope you have enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you just down the page in a, in a second for video number two. See you in a sec.